I got a disclaimer. After 40 years in the construction industry, I occasionally mess up and swear. Sometimes more than once. Sorry. Hey, it's me. A little bit different today. November 2nd. Uh, got here to the hunting camp late last night. And actually, it was just before sundown. And it started snowing. And so today, my hunting buddy and his dog Kona and myself and Ramen, we're gonna do a little bit different today because there's two of us and two dogs and there's snow on the ground. <clears throat> we're gonna try to see if we can jump some wild grouse they're gonna be if they're young ones out there they're gonna be a little bit confused by this whole snow process here come on Was it? So, dog never got birdie, except for on fucking trail of a porcupine trail. Oh. You can see where they walk through the woods and snow. And I was like, oh, hey, what's this interesting smell? I'm like, no. It's like deer activity up on the hill. Just scraping. There's a, um, a rub right in front of your deer stand up in the, up on the side of the hill, up kind of by them little spruce trees. And uh, nice size track, so it's a good size buck. And then uh, in front of Rick's stand, there's a regular fucking highway. Yeah. Comes down, well, it goes, either goes up or comes down the hill, right past his stand and over the fence. Yeah, you can see where there, there's that rub and that, or that scrape, and then there's an the area where they fucking activity, you know. Uh, everything's disturbed. Well. The trails. Should we walk over towards yours and sure. or we could walk over towards mine and then go back towards yours? It's up to you. There's a, there's a bit of a breeze. A little bit, yeah. Ramen. What? You guys. Bunch of bozos. Well, my tree's fine. It's still standing. Looking good. Which one's yours? Right there. Oh, it's behind the two birch trees there. Oh, okay. right there. Got it. See a long ways there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you stick dog? Like sticks. I know sticks are fun. Yeah. Oh, there's porcupine tracks here. Porcupine dogs definitely mollet. Yeah, I guess about a, maybe a hundred yards all it. Oh. Come on, Kona! 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 
Kona, come here, Ramen, 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 come here, come here. Did he get? Got it. Did he? Again, grab her. Come here, Ramen. Sit, no. sit. Sit. Unload your gun. I don't got a pliers with me, do you? No. Son of a I bitch. Ramen, sit. Oh, I think they, I, I don't know. I think that they uh, probably take a. <sighs> I think it, it's essentially, it's like a hair that you break off. And quills. Well, they got barbs on them. Yeah, fuck. Well, didn't see any birds, but we're essentially up here getting ready for deer hunting. Well, we got to learn a lesson about a porcupine, which is uh, um, not always fun, but it does happen. And the one time I actually looked at my Leatherman this morning, I was going to put it on my belt, and I, the one time I didn't do it, I figured, oh, okay, the porcupines ain't going to be on the ground in the snow, which I was wrong. All right, well, deer hunting next week. I'll try to see if I, I don't know how I'm gonna get the GoPro to work. I'm gonna have to try to mount it on my stand or something like that, I don't know. It's, it might be just too much hassle. And then to try to get the batteries to last. I'll have to have a lot of batteries trying to make it through a day. Anyways, have a good one, thanks. Gonna cut some firewood this afternoon.